Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And this challenge is the Pop Radio Challenge. Whatever you bring, make sure you bring your radio to listen to some tunes. Day 1 through 10, Rihanna stage. You gotta get to work, 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 work. Scavenge whenever possible. Use a female to scavenge and tend to the needs of the males before the females. Days 11 through 20, Bruno Mars stage. You wanna uptown, funk you up. But you can't. Instead, you sing your lazy song. Don't scavenge, say no, don't do anything for any option. Days 21 through 30, Taylor Swift stage. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight. To fall in love with strangers, eat soup two times instead of one every five days and always say yes, respond with the least violent option. Days 31 through 40 is the Justin Bieber stage. When you your head yes, but you wanna say no, what do you mean? Alternate between yes and no for yes, no choices. You're frustrated, so you drink two times instead of one every five days to drown your sorrows. Days 41 through 50, Ariana Grande stage. Respond with the most violent option possible. Only scavenge with a weapon on hand. I'm actually really surprised. The Ariana Grande stage is the one where you're the most violent. I mean, who would have thunk it? Days 50 through 60. Adele stage, stay alive and wait for your savior to come and say hello from the outside. So I'm assuming after the 60th day, you complete the challenge and knowing me, I'm gonna try to get rescued. But even if we fail, if we complete all 60 days following these specific challenge rules, then we win. But we are gonna try to beat this and get rescued. So without further ado, let's get to work, 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 work. Okay, the only thing that is required of this challenge that we need to get during the scavenging part is the radio so we can listen to the greatest tunes that's out there. So we grab that and a flashlight so we can get Ser Pancake. And then let's get our daughter just for shites and giggles. Get that because we're going to need a lot of food and water because our daughter likes to drink food and eat water. Why she likes to drink food and eat water? What the fuck am I even saying? What the fuck is that, Jay? Okay, let's throw this in there. Let's get my sexy ass wife, said no one ever. She ain't sexy, bro. Come on, get that freaking water, damn TV. Oh, I can tell this is already fucked up. This is already fucked up, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. Boy Scout book. Uh, Tim Aruski. What else? Bottle of water for your thirsty ass. Oh my god, I gotta get that map, baby. You can get it. Come on, Jay. You're a fucking savage, boy. Get it. Uh. Oh, get that padlock. Go, 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 yeah! Kobe. Woo! That got me hyped up. Nipples on fleek. Let the pop radio challenge begin. Day one. I think I lost my voice there for a second. All that yelling and screaming. And I got one bug spray. Hell to the yeah. Okay, so the first stage is the Rihanna stage. You gotta get to work. Scavenge whenever possible. Use a female to scavenge and tend to the needs of the males before the females. <laughs> the needs of the males before the females. I wonder what that could be. Okay, so day one is random notes. Can't prepare to scavenge on the first day, but you have to scavenge as much as possible and you have to send out the women. So, my ladies, let's prepare to scavenge. And ha, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? How about fuck no? It is now day three. We have to send somebody out. So let's send Mary Jane as our first female and we don't need to grab any items, right? Scavenge whenever possible, use a female to scavenge, tend to the needs of males before females. Okay, so Mary Jane's gonna go outside, she's gonna bring the gas mask, and good luck, Mary Jane. It is now day five, what a time to be alive. Everybody get some of that super, some of that what time? And more random notes again? Are you kidding me? This is amazing, this is like a perfect run so far. There has been no situation that I had to say yes or no to or choose an option for like a burning fallout shelter, but I can't jinx myself. I'm probably gonna jinx myself. Look, yep. after all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed it, and now we're about to get sick, so why not take a shower? We don't have soap, but there are other alternatives to consider. Yes, use the bug spray, you know, just take turns spraying it in your eyes and your mouth, just go And Mary Jane's back. She looking dirty as ever, but she's still looking fine as hell. And everybody is good, so that's good. And Mary Jane's back, she brought one soup, 
two waters. She lost the gas mask. It's okay. I still love you, baby girl. Oh, and we got to feed her. Forgot. Let's do that. And prepare to scavenge. Gonna send Dolores out. And more random notes. So now it is time to send someone to the wild, wild wasteland. We are gonna send resting bitch face. Hopefully she brings back a bunch of goodies. I'm in a great mood today. Can you guys not tell? Can you guys not tell from my grin? From cheek to cheek, ear to ear? I am in the best mood of all time. Day nine. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Yes, let's use the radio. They want to get in contact with the military, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. You guys hear that beeping sound? That means we are good to go. It is now day 10. That means the food and water is good to go inside of their bellies. And also, it is day 10, so this is the last day of the Rihanna stage. So day 11 through 20 is the Bruno Mars stage. So we can't even do this anyway. So let's see what the next part of the challenge is. Days 11 through 20, Bruno Mars stage. You want to uptown funk it up, but you can't. Instead, you sing your lazy song. Don't scavenge. Say no. Don't do anything for any option. And I'm assuming that they mean any option except eating and drinking water because obviously that would mean challenge ends. So I'm pretty sure they just reworded it wrong, but I can't do anything in between all that. Just like this scenario. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Of course! Doing so in a tiny underground shelter is probably lower on the good idea scale. A few matches later, and we ended up with flames licking up one of the walls. Time is short. We need to put it out and save our supplies. What do we save? Apparently nothing because we are lazy asses. Damn it. Lost a Boy Scout book and the radio. This is going to be harder than I thought. I thought, hey, pop radio challenge. It's cute. You know, has like some list of things, has lyrics in the challenge. But we lost the Boy Scout book and the radio. So joke's on me. This is horrible. And Timmy and Mary Jane are in need of some physical exercise. Well, too bad, so sad. We are going to be lazy fucks for the next eight days. Day 13. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. Aw, pancake, no! <laughs> no, pancake, I love you. <laughs> and where the fuck is Dolores? She hasn't been back. It feels like it's been almost a week, right? And uh, we didn't look out what's in the darkness, so the dog ran away. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Ted has one foot in the grave. And where the hell is Dolores, guys? She better come right now. I better hear a door opening. Yes. We're good. We're Gucci. And both of the ladies are sick. Fuck my life. She brought back two food, a radio. Bravo, bravo. I'll give you a little clap for that. So there you go. And that's it. Okay, so everybody's gonna get some of this. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. Nah. I'll do what I do in real life. Whenever I hear a phone ring, I either put it like under a pillow or something, or I just pretend I don't even hear it. <laughs> That's what I do in real life. I know all my friends hate me because I never answer my phone. Okay, last day of the Bruno Mars stage. Just like Bruno Mars, I hated this part of the challenge. I couldn't do anything. We had to say no to every single option and it was killing me. But good thing it's over now, so I can prepare to scavenge, because that doesn't actually take any effort at all. I'm just preparing to scavenge. And Mary Jane has been awfully silent today. Well, too bad, so motherfucking sad. And with that said, it is now the Taylor Swift stage, days 21 through 30. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight, to fall in love with strangers, eat soup two times every five days, and always say yes, respond with the least violent option. So these next 10 days, I have to say yes to everything, and I have to eat twice instead of once every five days. So that is good. I'm not going to eat right now. We are going to send old Timmy boy. And I'm not going to give him anything to use. And we have to say yes to every single option. So, okay, I got to remember that. And it has to be the least violent option. Remember that, Jay. Because I always seem to fuck up on some part of the rules. And I don't want to do that this time. But actually, wait. Let's uh, feed them once. And then I'll feed them again on day 25. So that's my two times instead of once per five days. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she'd brought along. Okay, she offers ammo for the radio. She offers gun for the axe. 
She offers bug spray for the lock, and she offers a Boy Scout book for the cards! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Damn, what a dumbass! I won that trade! Woo! I feel like a motherfucking savage! I got another Boy Scout book, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do. Saying yes to everything, sometimes it pays off. And a woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel. Provided that camel has five legs. Damn, that's a hung ass camel. Five legs? The animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Offers one water for the checkerboard, four for the radio. Oh my god, I gotta give up the radio? So I got a Boy Scout book and now I gotta give up my radio? Fuck my uncle, man. Alright, I guess we'll take that. Gotta say yes to everything, right guys? And there we go, we got four waters, but at the expense of the radio. <laughs> Makes me a little sad, but I'll get over it. Because I have no soul, I have no feelings. And when we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Yes, but as we do this, I'm gonna cover my eyes. Because I don't want any of the family members to die! And nobody's dead. Hip hip hooray. There's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. Fuck yeah! So let's give them some of this. That was my twice in two days because I ate the day before last. I think I ate on day 23. Yeah, but I know I ate twice. Our gas mask has been worn out and doesn't really protect against anything. It's a good time to have a go at fixing it. I agree with that. And I also wonder where my MVP Timmy is because he hasn't come back yet. And the gas mask didn't get fixed? We had the best intentions, but something went terribly wrong. The damn mask just fell apart. We can't do much with that trash. Bitch, you're trash! Your fixing skills are trash. Who the hell fixed the mask? It was Mary Jane, wasn't it? Mary Jane is such an asshole. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bit of two water bottles. Shall we play? I don't have any cards, so get the fuck out of here. And there's Timmy boy. Yes. He's sad, but he's not sick. I think we'll be all right. What did he bring back? He brought back nothing? What an asshole. <laughs> okay, let's feed them. That's our first time feeding them in uh, five days. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's on the phone booth across the street. Okay, let's send Mary Jane. She probably has a pleasant voice. Unless she has one of those, like, very deep voices for a lady. She's like, hello? Yeah, this is Mary Jane. How you doing? Is the people from Hill Valley. All right, good. So we can start the twin ending, hopefully, because we got to send somebody out to scavenge. We have no more food. And it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Fuck! These guys are gonna get depressed because they can't sleep. And then I won't be able to take any of them outside. Fuck! Dolores died. Damn it, you skeleton ass motherfucker. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Nobody can go outside. Damn! How is this gonna work? And I have no more food, but I have water, so this still counts as part of the challenge. So here's what we're gonna do. Give them water, and prepare to scavenge again, and more random notes. Okay, with that said, it is now the Justin Bieber stage. You guys are all believers, right? Days 31 through 40. When you nod your head, yes, but you want to say no, what do you mean? Alternate between yes and no for yes, no choices. You're frustrated, so you drink two times every five days to drown your sorrows. Good thing we have water here. We don't have food. I don't think we're going to last more than four days without food. So we got to make this quick. And nobody can go outside. Fuck. This is so frustrating. And Mary Jane's gone. Bye, Mary Jane. Love ya. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, prepare to scavenge again. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. Blech. We recognized him as old bum named Jim, who used to roam the streets for our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wasteland and it looks like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door, asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? Yes. Let's answer that. And hopefully they didn't misunderstand him and he said, want to touch my cock. They're like, huh? Want to buy a rock? And then he comes out, he's like, yeah, you guys gonna touch my cock or what? Old man Jim was always lovely and friendly to everyone, so of course we opened the door and fulfilled his request. He winked at us and told us the first rock is for free. See? He winked at them. Maybe he did mean cock, which we were happy to hear. A nice rock is a good thing to have, but we don't think we will be able to trade any of our supplies for it, even if it brings luck like he claimed. All right. 
So we let old bum Jim in, so now we have to alternate and say no. Nobody can go outside, so we are pretty much fucked. You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet, since, you yeah, know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, here we have someone at the door. When we opened it, we encountered a strange-looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade to him for a water chip. A water chip? What in the hell is that? I have no idea, but we said yes last time, so now we have to alternate and say no. I'm sorry, Mr. Water Chip Man. We cannot give you what you want. But we can drink water for the second time in five days, like so. And nobody can go outside again, so I think this is the end, guys. Is it? No! It's day 36. What? I thought they would be dead by now. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings in a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup? Shall we go check? Oh, YOLO, bitches. We said yes last time, then no. Now we gotta say yes again. Hopefully it's soup. This could be the most clutch shit ever. And it's not. We lost. Fuck! Alright. You know what? Oh, wait. It was cards. It was a deck of cards, man. That loca deck of cards. All right, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna show you guys the scavenging part of the second playthrough of this pop radio challenge. But then we're gonna fast forward to the Justin Bieber stage. So I'll see you guys there. I'll admit, guys, my first haul during the scavenge on the first run of this playthrough was a bit shitty. It was shittier than the shit that I had this morning. But we are gonna make sure we do this one justice. So let's get some of that. And then Timmy boy, throw him in there. What's over here? My waifu. Get some of this soup. Damn, the controls. Stop it. Stop being so fucked up, controls. If you could just stop, then maybe I could pass this challenge. Uh, suitcase. Yeah, I guess. Let's get that. I don't get how the suitcase costs you three inventory. That's just weird. That's criminal, man. That's insane. Let's get this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Yes, Ted. Why doesn't the family help you bring stuff to the shelter? I don't know. I always, like, wonder that. You gotta get the radio. That's one of the requirements. Like, I'm like, Timmy, Mary Jane, Dolores, grab something. Fuck. <laughs> like, Timmy just drawing. Uh, Mary Jane's playing her tuba. Dolores was just, I don't know what the fuck was she doing. Reading a newspaper, being a thoughty act and naughty. I don't know. Let me grab this ammo real quick. And there you go. I forgot Mary Jane, though. But I don't need her. I don't need her. It didn't say that I needed all family members. But whatever. I think we got a pretty decent haul. Let the second run of the Pop Radio Challenge begin. And before I skip through and jump cut all the way to the Justin Bieber stage, I have six bottles of water, six cans of food, resting bitch face, the motherfucking MVP, clean-shaven teddy boy, Map, flashlight, boy scout book, axe, um, suitcase, and yeah. Dude, it's only day two and flames are licking up the walls? These flames can lick up your damn butthole. I guess I'm gonna save the boy scout book. Fucking day two, guys. That is ridiculous. All right, guys, we are back in the Justin Bieber stage of this challenge. We have to alternate saying yes, no, yes, no. We gotta drink twice every five days. Dolores and Timmy are both sick. Ted is fine, but I think you might go crazy if these two die. So we got to make sure that we keep everybody alive. Uh, more random notes. What else can I tell you guys what happened? Um, we lost the gas mask. We ran out of food because right before this, I had to eat twice every five days. And yeah, Dolores is out scavenging. Hopefully she comes back soon. More random notes again. Wait. Yeah, I have half a can of food. Fuck! This is gonna be fun, unless Dolores just brings back amazing stuff. Yeah? She did! Look at all that water and food up there! You're the real motherfucking MVP! Four food, six water! Holy shit, dude! That is a fuckload of water to quench that thirst. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We have to drink twice, because we are so nice. So we're gonna drink today, and then we're gonna drink on day 35. I will feed her because she needs to eat. And prepare to scavenge. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. Okay, so we're gonna say yes to this option right here. So whatever option comes next, no matter what it is, it could be the most amazing option in the history of all options. I have to say no. But Timmy is okay, 
And that's good because Ted and Timmy are both okay, so I know that they won't die. We've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday. Oh, okay, so I can't send anybody. So this is my no option. I'm not sending anybody. Sorry, Ted. I know you were excited to go into the wilderness with your big-ass beard. But we can't do it, Catton. We just can't. Let's feed these guys. And should I prepare to scavenge? Nah, I'll be all right. We received another army transmission this morning. We wish it would mark the end of our stay in the shelter, but it seems the military has other plans. All survivors in the area were asked to head to a nearby park and chop down as many trees as possible. Sorry I used that axe on Timmy, but he's better though, so that's the most important thing. But I want to get rescued after 60 days, so we are going to deal with all the military and the twins after this. Right now, we got to focus on surviving and completing the challenge. Okay, since I got to drink twice every five days, it'll be right now. And nobody's gonna prepare to scavenge. And more random notes. Been getting a lot of random notes in this playthrough. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is now day 40. Last day of the Justin Bieber stage. Let's give them that. Prepare to scavenge. And the twins kept their promise and came to visit us again. The issue is simple. They need meds badly. Well, sorry I don't have meds. Hopefully I can get meds. And with that said, it is now the Ariana Grande stage. Days 41 through 50. This is the part where you break free. Respawn with the most violent option possible. Only scavenge with a weapon on hand. Fuck, I don't have any weapons, so I can't scavenge, damn it! I thought I could scavenge. Okay, I guess I can't send any of you fuckers because I don't have a weapon. Is a flashlight a weapon? I mean, you turn it on, you start blinding them in the eyes, they're like, Ah, oh, I can't see my eyes! You know what, fuck it, I'm making excuses for myself. A flashlight isn't a weapon. It's probably more of a sex toy than a weapon. Oh, yeah, that's a flashlight, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's not a weapon. Okay, we are not going to send anybody out, and I don't need to feed or give you guys water. And nope. Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor, Ned. We're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be that reason. Shall we open? Okay, so the challenge rules say that I have to choose the most violent option possible. This is a yes or no question. It's not really violent. I guess if you think about it, which one would be more violent? If I leave them knocking and I don't answer the door, is that more violent than opening up the door and possibly getting into a confrontation? I guess opening the door is the more violent option. Please don't be raiders. Oh my god, if it's raiders, I'm so fucked. Okay, I don't know what that was. We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn, pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. Whew, that was a close one. We dodged a bullet there. We're locked up and it's easy to grow tired of this situation. Dolores has been looking rather down for a while now. She even refuses to eat soup. How crazy is that? It's hard to say if we can help her, but trying to cheer her up might be worth a shot. Um, Boy Scout book or the bug spray? I think the bug spray, aka poison, is more violent than the Boy Scout book. Like... What, is, what are they going to do with the Boy Scout book? Are they going to smack her over the head? If they use the bug spray, then I think they're spraying her in the face. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted has one foot in the grave. You guys will be all right. God damn it, Dolores. Why do you always do this to me? Why do you always turn into a skeleton, you motherfucker? All right, Timmy has been sitting there just staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. I think it would be more violent, mentally fucked up if we don't chat with him. So let's choose no, because I think that's the most violent option you can choose. Like, not talking to your son, who already is just begging to talk to somebody. And look at his crazy ass. Goodness, I think that, uh, that just mentally fucked him up. Day 48. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. There's a safe behind it. We can probably crack it. Yes, let's crack that safe. Hopefully we get a med kit in there. I remember one time I think I got a med kit from the safe. Shit was awesome, but I don't see anything there, so I don't think we got that. We got one can of soup. All right, that'll do, pig. That'll do. And more random notes. Okay, it's now day 50, last day of the Ariana Grande stage. The friendly group of survivors we met not long ago popped in today with a request. Oh, they want the med kit. I don't have that. And with that said, the last part is the Adele stage, days 50 through 60. Stay alive and wait for your savior to come and say hello from the outside. It says day 50 through 60, but the previous one said 41 through 50. I think they meant 51 through 60, because 51 through 60 is 10 days. So, we just need to stay alive and wait for your savior to come and say hello from the outside. All right, so uh, 
I'm pretty sure we can do what we need to do to survive because it just says stay alive. Staying alive! So let's prepare to scavenge. And let's do this thing, guys. Time to get rescued! Oh, it's day 55 and Ted might be able to survive an expedition. Let me see what's outside. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. Our trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. All right, so let's prepare to scavenge. And military wants us to chop down trees. We don't have that. What you guys missed, I fast forward a couple days. The map is gone because Ted's crazy ass ruined it. And Ted also ruined the Boy Scout book. So he completely fucked us over. But hopefully he can redeem himself by doing this. And hopefully he comes back with some good stuff. Please, Ted. Please. Day 57. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he's a trader looking to barter for items he requires. Offers one water for the cards, one water for the bug spray, two waters for the Boy Scout book, one water for the flashlight. I'd rather keep my flashlight and bug spray to be honest. I mean, they could be more useful down the road. I do have a lot of water though, so I think I'll be okay. But the only thing is, if Ted doesn't come back, it's game over, son. And we can't have that. We're too deep into this playthrough. But another guy came, and he's a trader. Okay, his prices are so low, it's practically slitting his throat. So bug spray for the lock. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. I think I'll take the lock just in case raiders come. Because you can't fend off raiders with a bug spray. You can either use the axe, gun, the padlock, or you can get help from those mutants. But I don't have any of that. Only thing I have is the padlock. So hopefully that can save us one time for the homie DJ Screw. And another person came. They offer the checkerboard for the flashlight. And wait, wait, they offer the med kit for the suitcase. Yes, the twins. The twins can help us. Oh my God. We could do. <laughs> what? Why? Ted has been outside for far too long and he still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We survived for 60 days. Okay, so I survived for 60 days. Did I complete the challenge? Or did I need to end the 60th day? If that's the case, then I think I failed the challenge. But whenever I don't get rescued, I feel a little guilty inside like I didn't really complete the challenge. But you know what? Fuck it. It was a pretty good challenge. I like that they incorporated the lyrics into the challenge rules. Other than that though, I feel like I did a pretty good job with this challenge for what the challenge was. But if you guys have any more challenges that you want to recommend, please write them in the comments below and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video though, please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that too!